some of our Valley clients say, we appreciate your follow up and we love what you do, but we haven't signed the heads of agreement yet and we haven't signed the lease. And as soon as we do, we'll give you guys a call. We'll get you to go through the tenancy. We don't wanna waste your time ahead of that. Just wait until those steps and then we'll let's get together and collaborate and let's create something great. And how we've been able to push back on that and say, hey guys, we can actually help you at the start with the initial heads of agreement arrangement and then with the lease. So we're not lawyers, we're not accountants, but we know the poison pills that, that can go into a lease that can significantly, dramatically and significantly add cost to you uh, for, your, for your project. Some of the things that we look for, so once the legal team and everyone's all satisfied with it, um, and, and during that process, we often get sent the draft leases and we say, okay, this is a, for, for, for example, here's a fit out contribution. Um, great, the landlord's gonna give us $600,000 towards our fit out. That sounds really great to us. And, and and away they go, and they go through all the steps, and they sign the lease, and they find actually, it wasn't six hundred thousand dollars gift like we thought. So some of the things that come up in here is the six hundred thousand dollars is an allowance, but conditional on and a separate deed for that that you use the landlord's chosen suppliers, which, as a matter of fact, have come in at eight hundred and fifty thousand. So, but the competitive market offer is actually 600,000. So how much are they really giving you? They're giving you 600 minus 250. So we find that in these leases are uncompetitive clauses, restrictive clauses, and a credible assignment of rights where the landlord is able to appoint, another typical one, the landlord is able to appoint at the cost of the tenant without restraint an independent architectural consultant to assess all the works and engage whatever engineers to assess and validate the project once it's finished. Even though the project has already been validated and engineered and signed off by the surveyors and relevant engineers to get the project there. So what cost is that? Another poison part of a fit out allowance can be that the landlord says, we're gonna give you $600,000 like in the case of um, a, a lease that we're reviewing right at the moment, we're gonna give you $600,000 towards your fit out. And how that is paid is, when you dig into the fine print, so client sent us, we go through it, they're gonna give you $600,000, which is nice. How you, how you get that is you have to give them an invoice for the 600,000 plus GST, giving them full control of the asset, allowing them to claim the GST, 60,000 off that, and allowing them to start depreciating, say 10% a year, so say 60,000 a year they can save off their tax, but the, the 600,000 to the client gets paid in 62 month equal installments, 10 grand a month for five years. So the clients had to fund the 660, including the GST, and then only get payments back at $10,000 a month for the next 62 months. So what seemed as a really great fit out contribution and the client's thinking a net cost to relocate is zero, is not at all. They have to fund 660,000 up front and then only get payback at 10,000 a month. So that's another thing that can go into a lease. These really simple ways of dealing with this and countering those offers, um, assuming that they're being fair and reasonable and um, rather than calling them out on all their restrictive practices, there are ways of saying, great, let's take that 60,000 as a full rent reduction either half rent for first two years and a bunch of other strategies we've got to help our clients through that so that the, the, the heads of agreement has been nailed from the start. So we can help you with the heads of the agreement so that there's no poison chalice and no poison pills in the final lease. We love to help you with this. We're really clever at getting this right for our clients. And then it goes back to their legal team to hammer out the details, but we've we can help you cut to the chase and get this right so you can progress quickly, go through the process of the lease, and then you can move in and have your team do their best work.